Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I'll be doing a best class setup for the MP5 submachine gun here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So of course guys, welcome back to another Modern Warfare multiplayer video here on the channel and of course for this one, I'll be doing a best class setup for the MP5 submachine gun. Now that's the thing, the MP5 is easily one of the best submachine guns in this game and personally is one of my favorites. I've always enjoyed using the MP5 going all the way back to the Modern Warfare beta and heck, even if you want to go back to the 2v2 alpha in August. So yeah, with all that said, that's how come I want to check you out in today's video. And before I get too far into this commentary, I do quickly want to say that, of course, for today's video, I'm back on multiplayer. This is going to be a multiplayer best class setup after all. However, I do want to mention, and that is in these past couple of videos, even though I have went back to multiplayer, that does not mean I'm done with Warzone. Chances are a little bit later this week, you guys will be seeing another Warzone video. However, with all that said, let's dive right into the class setup. So as you guys can see over here, this is the class. Now doing a brief run down. For my primary weapon, I will be using the standard variation of the MP5. My secondary is going to be the M19 pistol. And of course, for the attachments I will be using are going to be the XRK5 extended barrel, the 1 milliwatt laser, the lightweight trigger, the 32 round magazine, as well as sleight of hand. My perk setup is going to be scavenger ghost and battle hardened. My lethal is going to be C4 and my tactical will be stim shot. So now let's talk a little bit about the attachments I will be running on my MP5. So for my first one, I will be using the FSS mini barrel which will be increasing the aim down sight speed as well as the movement speed. My second one is going to be the FTAC collapsible stock which will be increasing the movement speed as well as aim down sight speed. Our third one is going to be sleight of hand which of course is going to allow us to reload a lot quicker. Then for our fourth one we will be using the 45 round magazine and our final one is going to be the Merc Forkrip. Also if you guys are wondering I will be using platinum camo which in my opinion looks really cool here on the MP5. So yeah guys with all that said if you guys want to enjoy this video make sure you leave a like on it down below as well as make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss the upload from me so yeah now that i got the intro out of the way i will see you when i join up into my first game and all right guys as you can see of course we are going to be joining up into our first game but this time we will be playing a standard match of kill confirmed cranked here on hackney yard so with all that said let's see exactly how well we can do in this game now come to think of it it's been quite a little while since the last time i played hackney yard so you know i have to keep that in mind Oh, wait a second. Okay, that's gonna be our first kill. And yeah, with all that said, let's see exactly how well we can do in this game. Although that's one thing I must say. Hackney Yard is a really good map if you are gonna be using the MP5. Oh, there were two guys head glitching over there. That is just not a good idea. So let's just stay back a little bit more. Hopefully we can flank around. It oh, looks like there's another person over there. Okay, there we go. Took him out. Let's call on this personal radar. Now there's a lot of tags over there. Now, I'm not sure if I want to go for him. You know, it's a little bit risky, but should we go for it? Okay, I guess not, because there is literally half the entire team is over there. That's going to be the UAV. We just need to sit back a minute. And okay, we ended up dying, but it's really not too big of a deal. That's one. Let's see if we can keep this streak going. Not gonna lie, that was a pretty nice kill swapping over to my pistol. And that's why I like using the M19. Overall, the M19 is starting to become my new favorite pistol because for a very long time, I always used the Desert Eagle. And don't get me wrong, the Desert Eagle is a fantastic pistol. But the problem is, if the hit detection's off a little bit, you're not gonna be hitting your shots. And overall, you're probably not gonna be winning the gunfight. So then I switched over to using the 357 Magnum. And I really enjoy using the 357. But then there's the M19 pistol, which I originally started using when I was trying to get Platinum Pistols. Which on that note, let me just just say platinum pistols look really cool in this game so yeah then i started using the m19 and after a little while it really started to grow on me especially if you are going to be playing hardcore mode let me just say the m19 is probably the best pistol in the game if you are going to be playing hardcore mode <laughs> okay there we go took him out with the uh, c4 when oh, i see him okay that's going to be an assist but that's not going to be an assist and that's also not going to be an assist so let's just get right out of there I'm not gonna lie, we we're doing pretty well over there. Let's call him the CYV. I think there's a guy over here. Okay, there we go. Finish him off with the C4. You see, if you want to get those C4 kills, that's how you do it. Enemy 
And all right, guys, that's of course going to be the first game. Overall, I did end up doing pretty well. And overall, it wasn't too bad of a game for my first gameplay of the video. So I hope you guys went on to enjoy it. And I will be seeing you guys in game number two. It truly is, ghost. I'll always be watching. And all right, guys, as you can see, of course, we are going to be joining up into our second game. And this time, we will be playing a standard match of prank kill confirmed here on Crash. So with all that said, let's see exactly how well we can do in this game. And okay, that's going to be our first kill starting off this particular game. And overall, this lobby looks pretty good. So... I'm really excited to actually get started and wait a second. And also guys, I do have a question that I want to ask in today's video and that is what are your thoughts on Warzone? So of course right now at the time you're making this video, it's been exactly two weeks since Warzone was released. So on one hand, it's actually pretty crazy to think about that Warzone has been out for two weeks now. And on another hand, I want to ask you guys what is your opinions on it because now that Warzone is two weeks old, we're out of the initial stage of the game. And now we're into that time where people can really start forming their opinions on a game and whether they like it or not. So yeah, that's why I want to ask you guys, what is your opinions on it? Okay, that's going to be another kill. Because let me just say, I've really been enjoying Warzone. I think it's a really cool battle royale game. It has a lot of really interesting mechanics. And overall, I think Infinity War did it right. You know, it's a completely free battle royale. You don't need to buy Modern Warfare if you want to play it. And then there's also crossplay. So uh, overall, I think Infinity War is doing it right. You know, I think the core gameplay is good, the looting mechanics, and really everything that makes a good battle royale game. Warzone has that, and most importantly, I find that Warzone is a very enjoyable game mode. Because here's the deal, when it comes to the Battle Royale mode, you can have good gameplay, you can have cross-platform, you can make it free to play, you can do whatever, but if it's not a fun game mode, then people aren't gonna play it. And okay, took him out with the car. And that's something that I noticed that Warzone has, and that's just, it's a really fun mode. Oh, we got another person with the car? Okay. So yeah, now that the dust has settled a little bit on Warzone, I really am interested in knowing your guys' opinions on it. Okay, that was extremely close. You know, I want to fall back, but on the other hand, I want to see if I can get some more kills. Okay, that's another one. And another one. Not gonna lie, seemed like a pretty good idea to stay. Oh my goodness, that was actually really cool. I didn't know you could do that. Although, to be completely frank, I haven't really played much Piccadilly. So who knows, maybe I was the last person to find out about that. And alright guys, that's of course going to be the game. I'm getting 20 kills, which isn't really too bad in my opinion. Especially if you consider that I joined up into this game a little bit late. So uh, yeah, that's of course going to be the game. And I also got the play of the game, speaking of that. So yeah, I hope you went on to enjoy the gameplay. So yeah guys, that's going to effectively wrap up today's video. I do apologize that it may be a little bit shorter than my usual ones. However, nonetheless, if you guys went on to enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on it down below. Also, subscribe for my Modern Warfare content. So yeah, that's of course going to be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one one.